Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my March favorites. It is dark outside today. Actually, I had to throw on a light to film for you guys. So I'm trying to get up back to three videos a week. So we have our March favorites and then on Sunday, we're going to have our Sephora recommendations and wish list video. I know I've been getting a ton of questions. It is coming. I always do it the Sunday before the... What was that? I always do it the Sunday before the sale. I just dropped my fan. <laughs> okay. Let's begin, we're gonna start off with beauty, have books, then we have lifestyle, all the random stuff that I wanna go in. And I'm going to share with you this. I haven't even opened it yet, but I saw it on Sephora and I wanted to give this little shout out because I figured this probably will sell out during the sale, if not before. It's such a good deal with all the products in it. I thought it was so good. I posted this on my community tab and I believe on my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, I would definitely go check me out there because I do post all these things that I think are really good deals. So this is the Sephora Favorites Clean Me Up Kit and it has three full-size products in it, one being the Tower 28 mascara, but it's in brown, which I've been looking for a really nice brown mascara, full size of the Lawless Lip Gloss in Velvet, I believe it is, and a full size in, I believe it's an eyeliner from a brand I've never tried before. I've always wanted to try the Say product as well, so just a bunch of things that I think are really good, such a good value, so if you didn't see this on Sephora, maybe add it to your loves list. It is such a good value. None of these are gonna come as a surprise to you. <laughs> Absolutely none. So I discovered my favorite blush of all time now. This has taken the place and it's one of the new shades from Patrick Ta and I already knew I loved the formula, but it's this color for me. It is actual perfection on my skin tone. It's the shade not too much and it has quite a bit of pigment actually and I was worried it wouldn't show up as well on my skin, especially when I have a tan, which I don't right now but it shows up beautifully whether I have a tan or I don't, and it's such a wonderful color. It is the perfect not too much blush. It literally works with any look that I have, so I don't have to think. I just grab for this blush, and it looks good with literally every look I do. Probably my number one thing, since this has become holy grail, favorite blush of all time. If you wanna know what I'll be recommending during the sale, this video is gonna help you out because a lot of these you'll see in my recommendations video. Sticking to blushes, of course, I have to mention these. They are the two new shades from House Labs. They redid their packaging, so now the color on the outside corresponds to the color on the inside, which I think is awesome. I love the new packaging. They are smaller though, and also they cost less. However, that being said, if you break down the cost per gram, they are considerably more now, considerably more. So if that is off-putting to you, I just wanted you to know, but I don't personally go through blushes that quickly, and this is my favorite powder blush formula of all time. So as soon as I saw they were back, I had to pick up the two new shades, of course, and I love them both. I did a side-by-side -side of these for a short reel TikTok. I put my short content on everything. You should have seen this regardless of the platform you watch me on, but I love both the colors. And as I said, favorite powder blush formula of all time. So pretty. But if I had to only pick one, I'd still go Patrick Ta. Then my last thing from House Labs, I have to mention because I wasn't initially gonna pick this up and this has blown me away. This is the House Labs Hybrid Lip Glaze in Guava. It is a warm pink and this is the most glossy lips I've ever seen. The way this reflects, I was saying in my trying new makeup how I never get compliments or comments on my makeup from family because they're just so used to me wearing makeup, doing makeup, random makeup. They're used to it all at this point. I got two comments on how glossy and shiny this was. So I knew after that, people who don't normally notice makeup, this was a winner. <laughs> so this is going to be another recommendation for me in my Sephora video, but I wanted to mention it in my March favorites because I got it this month and have absolutely been loving it. Considering picking up another shade, I wish they had more colors though. I'm liking the pink tones mostly. They have a cooler tone pink and they have this warm tone one, which I wanted to get first and it was sold out for a bit. Hopefully it's back in stock, but another really good recommendation if you're looking for something super comfortable on the lips that is thick enough to stay for a while on the lips without reapplication, shiny, doesn't give those gunky lines. It's literally the perfect formula, plus it gives a really gorgeous shine. 10 out of 10 for gloss. And then Ruffer restocked my detail brushes and this was a brush I actually never tried before. So I wanted to show you it. And I have these two here for comparison's sake. And this is the Ruffer 26. 
It is like a large pencil brush with a really nice taper to it. I'm gonna show you compared to two other sizes of pencil brushes that they have. This one I feel like is still smaller than traditional pencil brushes and this one's teeny tiny. So I would feel like a regular one is kind of in there. These are so good for detail work and I love this for blending out if you do smoky eyeliner, smoky wings, best brush to blend out that line. I love it so much. It's the Refer 26, I'll have it linked below, but if you're looking for any detail brushes, Refer does the best ones. So I had to mention those. A couple affordable products from the drugstore that I have to give a shout out to. This is new, the formula, I've never tried it. It's from Rimmel and I rarely pick up products I feel from Rimmel as of lately. I do have a Holy Grail, which is the Stay Matte Powder, which you guys already know about, but this, I heard was a dupe for Endless Cacao from Makeup Forever. And it's a lip liner. It's their lasting finish lip liner formula in cappuccino. This is a cool tone brown shade. It's so perfect. If you like Anastasia Cool Brown, Endless Cacao from Makeup Forever, those types of colors, which I personally love, you would really, really like this. And I like that I can make it a little bit lighter too of a color. And then depending on how hard you press, you can get that depth there. So depending on your skin tone, I feel like this is gonna work for a lot of people if you're looking for a cool tone brown shade and it was only like $5, so highly recommend. I can see why that is viral. And then I got back into using this all month and I'm pretty much done this now. So this is gonna be in an empties. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I just got back into this. I already knew this was top tier for foundations for me. I rank this in my foundation video. It's my favorite at the drugstore. And in general, compared to even high-end foundations, this is it. This is such a good foundation. I've been wearing this in a ton of videos. This is my tan shade. I cannot wear this right now, but I love this foundation so much. I'm gonna go repurchase it. I hear they're reformulating and it's already been reformulated in France, I believe. I forget which one of you told me, but they said it was really good, the reformulation. So I'm looking forward to trying it when they reformulate it, but the original formula is perfect. So I can't see them doing anything better with it. But if you're looking for something long wear skin, like thin on the face, affordable price tag, this is it for you. Then a House Labs product that was just hiding, <laughs> but this is all thanks to you for recommending this to me. It is the House Labs bronzer. I love it. I'm so, so picky when it comes to bronzers. I rarely introduce something new to my bronzers. It's the hardest category to work any product into, for me at least, is bronzer. And this one did. It is in the shade medium level five and it's perfect whether I have a tan, no tan, I'm wearing it today. It blends out so nicely and I love the undertone because this really matches my undertone quite nicely when I naturally tan. So I cannot wait for this in the summer. I've been using this so much, it's already indented quite a bit. I use this every single day as of right now. So I love this. Thank you guys for the recommendation. I might actually pick up level six as well, which is a little bit warmer, less red shade during the sale. So that's kind of something I'm personally eyeing. 100% recommend that bronzer, it is so, so good. And then these two new mini eyeshadow palettes from Too Faced. I used these in a recent trying new makeup and they're so, so good. I actually did a combination of both today just for a light look. I wanted to throw something on my eyes quickly. I was debating filming because of the weather and I'm just like, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead. I wanna get three videos up this week and I'm not waiting for sun because <laughs> The sun is not coming out right now. So we have a cool tone one, which is the cold smolder nudes and a warm one, which is the warm ember nudes. Both are beautiful. If you wanna see side by side looks I created, you can go check out my trying new makeup, but I love the formula, love the component that it can actually close shut. And just the size of this, if you're looking for something warm on the go or cool on the go, I think the color stories in both are perfection and the quality is there. So these, stamp of approval from me. And then MAC Cosmetics sent me a PR package I was not expecting. It was a lot of their new lipsticks for their Maximal Matte Lipstick Launch. This is their new matte formula and they do have a new packaging as well. The way MAC upgraded with this formula and packaging, I was shocked. I open this and the weight of it, it is weighted. If you have ever held a MAC lipstick, it's pretty lightweight, doesn't have too much weight. I love that they're shaped like bullets and they kept that design. It's just longer, sleeker, feels more luxe and the formula is 10 times more comfortable. Plus you get more product, that's why it's maximal. You get the max for this. So I love that they 
redid the formula and I know I've had a ton of questions on whether the colors are different. Personally, for me, they're close enough that it doesn't bother me. I do want to swatch an old Kind of Sexy, which is a matte next to the Kind of Sexy, which is the Maximal Matte. It's one of my fave nudes from MAC. I just want you to see the difference in the tone and the kind of texture. I can personally see that old Kind of Sexy is a little bit deeper, just a touch, but in terms of the tone, I think they're pretty spot on. This is the new one, this is the old. If you're curious about Kind of Sexy, the color comparison, I don't think it's enough difference to warrant being nervous about the change myself when the formula, the packaging, and the amount of product you get is just far superior than the old formulation. So I did swatch a ton of these for a short content if you wanna go check that out. But I highly recommend the new formula. I think you guys are gonna absolutely love it. If you're a fan of MAC lipsticks, traditional bullet lipsticks, you're gonna absolutely love the new MAC formula. Two skincare products I wanted to talk about. The first, I wanted to give a little update on this. It is from COSRX and it is their Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. And I have it in a tube. If you're familiar with this cream, most people have it in a tub. However, I prefer the tube. This was a newer introduction because people were wanting it in a squeezy tube, which is my preference. I don't like digging into containers if I don't have to, but it's the same thing if you've seen that tub that's really, really popular right now. This is just it in the tube form. And this cream has not broke me out. That was the number one question for me. I know everyone's skin is different. Some people are more sensitive to this than others. However, for me, perfectly fine, super moisturizing, and this hydrates my skin like no other. My skin is glowing. It's good underneath makeup. At night, I feel like it's moisturizing enough at night, but also light enough for underneath my makeup. It's just the perfect canvas. I get all my Korean skincare from Stylevana. That's where I purchased this and I will have it linked below the website as well as this directly link. They have given me a coupon code, which is amazing because I shop there so often. So it's just shop Cheryl if you wanna save some money on their website, but highly recommend if you like Korean skincare or are curious of checking out products that are Korean made, definitely check out Stylevana. That's where I go. And I'm so happy to finally have a code that I can use. <laughs> and then the last thing I have here, I know I've mentioned this years years and years ago, back when I was in my old house <laughs> and YouTubing. And these are from Marcel. I was looking for some new micellar water, something convenient to remove my eye makeup because when I'm removing my eye makeup and it's glitter or something like that, I don't like to use my reusable cotton rounds. I like something disposable. So I don't use disposable all the time just for specific instances, especially for waterproof eye makeup or any sort of glitter that I wanna throw it away. And these are so convenient because they're saturated makeup remover pads and these truly remove waterproof mascara, no issue. This is better than even my Garnier waterproof that I always rave about. I forgot how good this was. <laughs> this is my number one for removing waterproof makeup and you just have these little rounds that you can use and dispose of and they're completely saturated. So I don't even have to store this upside down. I feel like even just having it like this, the pads just stay saturated. There's 85 in here. They're not greasy. They're very gentle, good for sensitive eyes. Check, 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 like checks all the boxes. I forgot about these. I used them years ago and because I had to repurchase something, I'm just like, you know what? I remember those makeup remover pads. I need to check those out again. And so happy I did. I forgot how good these were. This is the best eye makeup remover that I've ever tried. I love board games, if you don't already know. And I found some games at the dollar store. So this was from Dollarama in Canada. They have different versions of this. I was only able to find the two that they were selling and they were selling these for $5, but it is considerably cheaper than buying these on Amazon, which you can get. They're still not expensive games by any means, but you can find these at Dollarama right now if you're in Canada. So if you wanna check these out, definitely do so. But it's a really fun card game. And I know this looks like it's geared towards kids, but trust me, this is fun for even adults. And this is for ages six plus, two to four players. It takes about 15 minutes per game. And this is a card game. I'm gonna read a couple quick things off the back just because I'm honestly so poor at describing games. Match cards to get special powers. You can get either a run or you can match numbers in different colors. Also to get this character, there's a specific color you have to match or a character card in order to get that character. Once you're able to get a power, you need three to win. We usually play until we go through the whole deck myself. I like that. 
But the fun thing about this is you can actually combine different of these games and it's called Something Wild. Look it up online. It's really easy to learn and to play. Kids can play it. In a matter of minutes, you can figure out how to do this and it's really, really fun. I got introduced to this from my friend's husband and he brought over one that had Grogu. So that one was really fun, the Star Wars version, but I do have a Disney one and I do have a Mickey one. The Mickey one has better powers I'd say in this than the Disney one. I find that one a little bit funner than this and then if you can find the Star Wars one I like that even more. So I'm looking to collect them all so I can combine them all. A huge game of this. I just think it's so fun. So another game to check out. Really affordable. You can get it at Dollar Store right now if you want to go to Dollarama to check it out. And then I have a book that I'm almost done. By the time this video goes up I will be finished it and it is The Assassin's Blade. I decided to start this for Throne of Glass for the series to read this first. I know there's controversial opinions on when you should read this book. I decided to go first with this and people were saying that you might not be invested in the characters. I love this book and I don't understand why people don't like this. Maybe because they're reading it later, but I loved the stories in this book. It's a series of novellas for Throne of Glass and you get to know the backstory of the character in this. I've really enjoyed all the stories. I have nothing bad to say about it. I thought this was a five star read for me personally and I know a lot of people don't rate this as high as other Throne of Glass books. So I feel like because I rate this so high, I'm going to absolutely devour the Throne of Glass series and love it. I'm so invested, so I'm so excited to read more of Throne of Glass. So that was my book of the month. So that is everything for my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you're excited for my Sephora recommendations and wish list. That will be next. I cannot wait to film that. I'm gonna be gathering everything after this video. My apologies about the lighting because I had to put on some artificial light. I'm trying to do all natural, but we can't today. It is super dark. Tomorrow will be better. Save that video for my Sephora recommendations and wish list because I want the best of the best <laughs> for that video. So thank you guys again for watching. Let me know your favorites. If you have any random books, makeup, whatever you want to recommend me, leave them in the comment section below. I would love to know if you've tried any of these. Also, let me know your reviews in the comment section below and I will see you guys in my next video.